Welcome back. Tonight we wanted to address some questions from you, our viewers at home. What exactly was flying across the sky early this morning? If you're an early bird, you may have seen it. Many of us here at 2 News did. 2 News Oklahoma's Steph Mansion joins us now with a look just in case you missed it. Steph, you got a chance to dig through these details for us. Yeah, Naomi Karen, it wasn't a shooting star, but a truly rare space event. SpaceX's crew Dragon capsule was plunging back into Earth's atmosphere after a six month stint in space. Its path happened to cross over Tulsa. And although these missions happen fairly regularly, it's not every morning that they're visible for us here. Most of the time, these spacecraft are re-entering the atmosphere closer to the coast. Um, usually they're recovered either in the Gulf of Mexico or in the Atlantic Ocean. So usually that puts us out of the path. We were about halfway um, through its path, so that would be pretty much the brightest, the brightest part of it. Brian Kyle with the Tulsa Air and Space Museum says it was a rare sight early Tuesday morning in Tulsa. As the Dragon crew made its way back from space at approximately 17,500 miles per hour, it traveled across the Midwest and southern portions of the country. Many in the Tulsa area were able to catch a glimpse of the capsule's path, including our own in-house sky watcher, meteorologist Michael Sager. He told me he was awake dark and early and was impressed with what he saw. I don't know the odds of having one of these re-entries coming right overhead of, of where you are in any given spot on the earth, but it's not something that uh, you get to see very often. And so having that privilege to see that this morning was pretty cool. The four man crew splashed down in the Gulf of Mexico, closing out six months on the International Space Station. The Crew 8 mission already launched last week to take their place and continue the work they had been doing. Kyle tells me that in case anyone may not have had their alarm set early enough today, there may soon be more chances to see a space event like this one again. Many, many more are planned. The International Space Station is going to remain in service till at least 2030. And these missions happen roughly every six months. Uh, so there will be more opportunities. Hopefully we'll get lucky again and they'll splash down in the same zone. Now for what the crew was focused on for those six months in orbit, they were conducting hundreds of experiments. They looked at things like how the human body reacts to anything from how the immune system changes in space to simulating exercise and even grew food on board the Dragon capsule. Now the crew brings all of this data home to make sure that astronauts are prepared for future missions into space. I just love seeing all the space video and seeing them come back home. That was incredible. Absolutely. Yeah. And Michael, great job shooting that this morning. Yeah, er early rise, uh, but uh, well worth it. And that view was just spectacular. Just an awesome shot here. And, you know, we had some of those high level series that you can see there, but not a problem uh, visualizing this. And I was impressed. Like, I, I was expecting it to be cool, but it was, mm -hmm. after it was done, I was like, that was cooler than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> well, very clear, too. You could see it without a problem. Yeah.